Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do a quick sketch of the very famous He-Man Milan Skeletor. And as soon as I have my other pencil sharpened, we will begin to sketch. So there is some perspective involved in this drawing, so let's get on with the exercise so very thinly put in guidelines so an oval or it could be a circle and you'll put in an arc like that an arc like that and then round about here you'll put in a circle an arc another circle and we'll put in another arc my apologies another circle right here as I said that we are using some foreshortening we're using we're showing him holding his weapon right here we will do another circle like that and then we will put an arc there and you'll see the purpose of that as we move along so now if you have your uh, pencil like still cocked and ready to go we're going to put in a quick frame so again I'm using thin lines please do a line like that like that even though Skeletor does not have a face but he does have those eye sockets he does have that skull and we will be doing the skull somewhere along there the rest of this will be his hood as we go so that shape will help it doesn't have to be really any shape for any particular shape for the hood but this will help and then we go along to do some of that anatomy so as you see there is a shoulder right there the tricep right there and then we of course we traverse into the forearm and right here now he has his weapon so one two three four and we will draw the weapon around those lines that we have just put in as if he is grasping the weapon there's a portion of the knuckle just showing right there you could pretty much try that straight line right through like that end here now we will do something like that to start off and you will see the reason again because this is going to transform in that skull thingy that he has that he holds on to so there is his uh, torso and right around there is the remainder of the torso part of that shoulder we show there but there will be some fabric over it and then of course there is his other hand that you could show behind clenched behind the weapon or so we 
will get the hood in place first. Something like that. We'll get the skeleton in next. And we have the classic those cheekbones. Depending on the media that you are referring to, he'll have that set of teeth. I prefer him with both sets, so I'm doing the lower jaw as well, right there, and having that little bit of fabric flow right under it. Of course, here he has all that armor. He has the arm bands which are depicted in various various ways in uh, according to the media and this thing now has those teeth and then is jagged and has those sockets like that pardon me if Part of me appeared along the video. I was just trying to crouch and finish this off quickly. And there's the horns rounding off his havoc, what I call this havoc staff. And then to draw armor straps right there, show. right there and there's the thumb for the hand so we have the primary sketch almost ready to go we'll show a bit of that fabric or his shoulder piece like so he has those things there and it will of course show on this end as well. And then there's that huge piece that goes right over the collarbone. And of course he'll have some of that strap showing in the back like that because his body is covered. We are putting the staff right in front He's waving the staff or something and now we have the sketch of Skeletor complete with the Havoc staff. Now please do Google different images and see how this works for you. Very interesting villain to draw. Thank you for going through this exercise with us.